Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. We are looking at a shot right there of a young Jeff Evans. And you know, you may know Jeff because he joins us here on Good Morning Vale quite a bit, uh, representing Christie Sports. And obviously, you know, we've talked a lot about just your love of skiing on a day-to-day -day basis. And you know, you've been able to recommend some good skis for us and boots and things like that. But it really comes from a long history of you doing crazy things and traveling the world as a skier. So Jeff, can you just tell us a little bit about how you got into skiing in the first place and how you ended up jumping out of this gondola at Snowbird? You know, I, I grew up in, in upstate New York and we had a ski area right in our hometown. Like, so I could walk to the end of our street, put my skis on, ski down this road in a cemetery and come out in, onto the ski area. And then the chairlift would take us to the top and then I would ski through the cemetery to get home. Oh my God. So, uh, you know, I, since I was 13, I probably, last year was the first year I didn't ski 100 days. Wow. So, you know, I, I, I kind of developed some of my skill there and then I got um, invited to go to ski camps and that kind of turned into one thing led to another. And I met this guy, Robert Young, you know, in the shot. And uh, he was my coach and mentor for a long, long time. So I was, you know, just a kid. I had just moved to, to Utah. And Robert hooked me up with this icon of skiing, Willie Bogner. And Willie Bogner said, we're going to make this film. Do you want to be in it? And I was like, I, do I want to be in it? Yeah, I want to be in it. And then we were sitting in a pre-production meeting, and he said, I need somebody to jump out of the tram. And there was about maybe eight guys there. And I looked around and I looked at Robert and I said, I'll jump out of the tram. Oh my gosh. And then Robert Young said, if he jumps out, I'll jump out. And so that's, you know, that's how this, no. this shot came, came Way. about. Okay, so where, you know, you can see the shot and you got, the ground is not anywhere near you. So how far were you off the ground in the shot? You know, we did it, uh, we did it in nine takes. So it was anywhere from 35 to about 65 feet. Oh my depending gosh. Depending on, you know, and they, they used a bunch of different camera angles and it, it was actually, it was pretty cool. That's crazy. And so Bogner, is that as in like Bogner clothing? Yeah, and this was actually, this movie, he used the stuff for two films. And one was, you know, this was the introduction of the fire and ice line. Wow. So, you know, he was bringing out fire and ice and, uh, and then he used it. He had another movie in Germany that he used a lot of the footage for. Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So here's so Jeff, you're the one you're the one in front here and then you have um, your mentor right behind you. And so with this, I mean, when you're about to jump out of a gondola like this, are you just freaking out inside? Um, you know, it was it was like a little nerve-wracking, but you know, Robert was the world aerial champion. And so, you know, he was like, we're going to do this. Let's go. And I had no idea what I was getting into when I said, I'll do it. <sighs> So, you know, it was awesome. But, you know, kind of a footnote to the story is that um, Robert passed away of throat cancer. Oh. And I, I got this phone call that, you know, he had passed away and, you know, I, I was somewhat bummed. But they said, he wants you to throw his ashes out of the tram at Snowbird. No way. So oh, it was like- Oh, and you have his season pass right here, which yeah. you can see, so that, there's Robert yep. from the 70s. And so you, did you throw his ashes out of the yes, tram? Yes, we did. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. What an incredible story, Jeff. This is so cool. I love this. So, you know, this is this is such a, an amazing way just to kind of get to know our locals a little bit more. I mean, obviously, we get to see you once, maybe twice a week throughout the winter, but you never get to know the stories behind it. But if people want to ask you more about your ski experiences, where can they typically find uh, you? Yeah, you can find me in any Christie Sports. You know, um, I'm, I'm pretty much there all the time. But, you know... And I, you know, this is like only just a little tiny bit. I know, bit. I know. There's so, there's so much that we, that we could talk about and hopefully we'll get a chance to do that throughout the season. But thank you so much for coming in and sure. just sharing one of the most amazing stories possible on skis with us and uh, you know coming up we're going to kind of continue those amazing stories with the weather story today we have some big snow headed our direction so stay with us